Hey guys, welcome back to WGT, and we've made it to the final round of the Glow of the Dark Showdown. Uh, in the second round, we actually did pretty well. Scored six under par, and ended up coming fifth. Originally second when I finished, but uh, I did that quite early on. Whereas, right now, I am currently 100th, and I've only got just less than four hours to do this, so we should probably get moving. We are going into game number one. I have equipped the TP5 ball because I get a feeling we're going to need it. And we are going to be playing for our very first game of this final round. Always let me down, don't you? Please find someone. Please find someone. There we go. Vernon Des... Oh, Vernon De Santos. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's looking good. Not too far to go from there. Uh, let me now go back another 45 yards and hit my shot from here, just because I feel like it. Hopefully with this ball it shouldn't make much of a difference. Not too much of a difference. Right, let's do this. Okay, I'll get used to that timing again, but that should be safely in the fairway, I hope. I hope. Yeah, it looks at not too far behind either. Okay, um, so as I said the last time I did a recording session, the last round, I was going to try and do a bit more uh, talking in these videos. And maybe this is the best time to start it. In fact, I will get back to that in a minute. I'm just going to try and stick this one in the middle of the green and try to make a part if we can. No idea how fast these greens are. Put all the backspin on. I'm going to go pretty much full power. And click too soon again. Middle of the green at least. Should at least be that. You going to get back there? You going to get back there? No, you're not. We've got a part for it though. Anyway, yeah. Um, I figured today I'd talk about uh, my experience with custom fitting. So, custom fitting was a thing that I wasn't really ever interested in doing. Uh, actually, I'll probably explain what that is first. It probably does speak for itself, but custom fitting is where you get yourself measured for a set of golf clubs, so it takes into account how you swing, uh, your size, and all those sorts of things, and uh, you get measurements for a set of clubs, which you can then uh, choose to follow or not. And for a long time I thought this was going to be like, you know, cheating in golf. If you get a set of clubs that are perfect for you, then I'm sure it takes away some of the skill of the game, which I guess in a way it does, but I can say now in hindsight I actually find it a lot more fun than I used to. Alright, what have we got here? 23 feet, very fast green. Be nice to hold a putt to start off with, wouldn't it? Get us going on the right track. I'm just gonna aim in the middle of the hole, I think, with this. Oh, I can. Uh, it's time to hit it there, but I don't believe that. Let's go about there. You gonna come back now? Like you promised? No. Nope. Of course you're not. Good part. Safe part to start with. Uh, so, yeah. In 2018, I decided to get custom fitted for the first time. Get a new set of clubs. Uh, so, me and my dad was also looking to get uh, fitted for a set of irons. We went up to Gainsborough and Lincolnshire. Uh, there we go. Went to Gainsborough uh, to Ping headquarters to get ourselves uh, fitted. So I went, I went for the whole set, he went for the irons, I said. And uh, now I've said that, I'm trying to remember the process. <laughs> I really should make notes before I do these. 
and t shirts down the middle of the fairway. Again. It mostly consisted of you know, hitting balls that they would get different shafts of different makes, like you know, graphite, steel, uh, different lengths, just to see what worked. Uh, so yeah, originally I hit my clubs and then they start you know, tinkering with things. With, uh, well, not display clubs they had, but, you know, they had. Uh, heads, shafts, and all that stuff. Uh, I'm wondering if I just hit this tiniest bit of backspin, hit full power, maybe it stops up near the flag. Let's see whether that works. I'd say it's going to be close, but I get if it's going to be like close to 10 feet away again. Yeah, look at that, it's rolling on now. Oh well, it's about four feet from there. Okay. It's not too bad a shot there. I suppose what I could tell you is the end result, what I ended up getting, I suppose. Uh, but I can't remember all the exact makes, so at some point I'll try and grab the information, which I found the other day at last, in my my old file. In the meantime, I've got to hold this putt for a birdie, if I can. Oh god, why am I on the, why am I on the wrong side of the hole for this? I've just got to hit this firm, haven't I, and hope. Hope it goes in. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I'm going to get screwed over in the final round again. Yeah, that was fine. I didn't try and break or anything, did it? Got to do the thumbs up from now on if I get annoyed, apparently. I should mention that, actually. The European Tour made a video before the Abu Dhabi Championship uh, this week. I guess they probably filmed it earlier in the week and uh, put it up just before the competition started, tournament started. Uh, they gathered some of the tour's angriest golfers and got them to do a little skit where they go to like anger therapy group thing. It's worth a watch, I'd recommend it. It's on the on the European Tour YouTube channel page thing. <laughs> uh two two eight into that wind. It's probably about right, isn't it? Took a bit off to be safe, I'm going too long here. Okay, it's gonna be good again. That's that's nice to know. It's gotta go in the whole mind, otherwise uh it's a nice safe par again. <laughs> uh. Alright. Watch Vernon done. There it is. Nowhere near. All right. Well, they're putting first, so uh, let me go through this. Driver. I didn't know the driver. Driver's a G four hundred. Uh, ten and a half degree loft, which is nice because the one I had before that was twelve degree. I originally got that to combat the fact I used to hit the ball low, whereas when I went for this fitting, it turned out I was now hitting the ball too high. So they. Brought the uh, loft down again, and couldn't be more happy with that. So uh, G400 driver, same with the uh, the woods. I got a five wood and a seven wood, 
uh, it was found that the three wood made no difference to my game, so I ended up getting a seven wood, which in hindsight now probably doesn't make much difference. There's much difference between the five and the seven wood, which is a shame. But um, I still feel the need to use them in different circumstances. Like if I want to carry it the same distance. Hang on, I'm not really thinking clearly right now. Uh, I'm going to put it there and hope it turns when it gets to the hole. Oh, good. Made one at least. And that's probably our win. Yeah. Cool, cool. We are heading into game number two. We have won our first showdown. And, uh, well, we should probably be three under par right now, but instead we're only one under. Uh, we had a part of the first hole which ended up next to the hole. Uh, should have tapped in from about four feet, which ended up just lipping out. Surprise, surprise. And the second one caught the lip and dropped in. Third one caught the lip and dropped in. Wow, well, bad words. Don't even know who we're playing. I'm talking too much now, I think. At the same time, not enough. Okay, we're playing TC550. It's my honour, and I will get back to the custom fitting story momentarily. Hopefully we can carry it far enough now to not have to be an issue. That would be nice. So I'll just pop it in the middle there. Turn this bit of backspin on that, and hopefully I get the timer right this time. Not quite, but I think this ball's fairly forgiving. This is the club. So it should be safely in the middle of the fairway. Please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. Alright, cool, we got a wedge from there. Alright. So, as I was saying with my woods, uh, I've got a 5 and a 7 wood. I use the 5 wood if I want more carry, because it should go further anyway. I say that they roughly can go about 200 yards total on the ground and on, on a tee. So if I want more carry, I take the five wood. If I want to roll more, I hit the seven wood. If I can afford for it to roll more. So there's those. As uh, T C hits into the middle of the fairway too, or right inside. Uh, I got a I got a G four hundred hybrid. That replaces my f old five iron, twenty six degrees. And I have to say. I didn't enjoy it at first, but I certainly got the hang of it, and it got even better when I realised there was still uh, some of the uh, plastic sleeve on the club face. When I removed that, it got even better. Uh, do I hit the 76 with no spin, or do I hit the 76 with a tiny bit of spin? I'm going slightly uphill. I'm just going to do it. We shouldn't run out of green, at least. Okay. So I had to hit it about 86 there. Fair enough. Uh, I have G700 irons. It was deemed that they were forgiving and I needed to be forgiven a lot, apparently. Uh, so yeah, those were what I went for there. Oh dear. And uh doesn't actually set up my wedges here. Uh I've got a sand wedge and a utility wedge. Which I just call the gat wedge even though I'm not sure if it actually is. Uh they are they are ping, they're still ping. I just can't remember what the actual model is. Alright, slower green this time. Maybe I can hold this part. It's gonna hit this fairly firm and hope it drops in on the way past. Oh, we pushed so I pulled that way too much though. Okay, I was just a tiny bit off central. Off the sweet spot. And it does that. A putt is a sigma two, and I really should have known that without looking at the paper. Take that gimme. And yeah, that is the gang. Hopefully that made sense. I suppose the next question should then be, did I enjoy the fitting? Yes I did. It was it was interesting. I didn't always understand what they were telling me, or what it actually all meant, but 
Uh, yeah, I read through all the notes they were making. Please get down. Please get down. Ooh. And it did make sense, and then I also obviously agreed uh, to get the clubs. But yeah, I'd recommend doing it. You don't have to go as far as I did. I live just, just north of London. It's about 160 mile round trip, probably. Probably a bit less than that. Uh, I did overnight stay as well. I didn't just drive down there and drive back. Uh, but yeah, I'd recommend getting yourself custom fitted if you haven't. It can really improve your game. Uh, knock some shots off almost straight away. I'll, I'll knock some shots off my handicap. So, yeah. Take a look into it next time you want to get some new clubs. It's better than buying them off the shelf. Uh, I think this is probably the right club. If I hit this pretty much full, I could probably get it up there. Towards the back. It's got a carry 156. With the backspin on this ball, hopefully I can get a stop on the green. That will be nice. That's what I mean. If you hit it too hard on this hole, that's what happens. I think that's only going to be just over the back, but still. Not good. It's on the fringe. That's even worse. I've also just noticed this guy's two over par, which probably isn't ideal for him. That's a pretty good shot, though. He's got a chance to save par, though. Also, I wouldn't be happy if that was me. I'd be doing the thumbs up again. Alright. Very slow green. Quite a slope on it, though. This putt. And I'm really starting to go off putting in this game. I did not hold many of these. Uh, let's go to that. 22. 33. Hmm. Maybe that's going to be right. Maybe. I'll push it a bit just to be safe as well. Come on, get down there, get down there, get down there. Alright, we could probably tap that one in. In front of a par. What a shame. The starter's putt is not going to help you. See? That's a gimme. They're making a bogey this time, at least. I think I've locked out of my opponents so far, but overall I'm going to be so far behind. And it's... Also, I'm not used to using this golf ball, but other than that, I don't know why I can't get it close to the hole. And why I can't hold putts. It's a mystery. Alright, last hole of what is actually been a very tricky three holes, but again, because I have been mostly talking, <laughs> for the most part. Now, well, they've gone. Please let you back in. No, no, don't you do this to me. I've just got to wait this one out, haven't I? I've just got to sit here and wait this. Wait this out. My time's expired. What is going on? Alright. I'm back at last. I got timed out just now. Despite the fact I couldn't do anything. And yeah, this guy's just cost me so much. No, sorry, he hasn't cost me anything. He could have cost me so much. Oh, please get down. So I'm going to do it to myself now. <laughs> ah. In the rough, good place to be. Great place to be. All I've got to do now is get it up onto that green. That's my main priority. Uphill all the way. Chuck the backspin on. I shouldn't be running out of green here if I do full power six iron. I shouldn't be running out of green. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to just about run out of green, but I'm amazed it actually got all the way up there. I must have barely carried to the front. Alright. Let's try and get this right, shall we? We're in the rough. We're going downhill. Not much wind to work with here. I've got to get up and down here. I 
this is probably too much, but hopefully I can get it fairly close. Come on, get down there. Yeah, I need to give it more of anything, but I've got a part to save Papa. It just needs to drop. It's not much break there. I'm just going to hit it the hole, I think. And just, I guess, hope I get lucky with the uh, the break of it. Okay, that's going to help. Oh, just about got it. We're still one under par. We've won two showdowns. We can move on from here, at least. We're moving to game number three. Final showdown of our front nine. One under par. Uh, I just checked 11 under leads overall. That's what we've got to beat if we want to uh, actually try and win one of these. But let's just make some birdies first and go from there. Yeah, I should be safe in the fairway, shouldn't it? Realistically. Yep, nice and safe. Meanwhile, I can go a bit more to the left here. But I've still got to be careful. Overall, I'm going to go. I'm going just inside his ball, I think. It hopefully, should carry to the fairway. Please carry to the fairway. I'm still clicking a little bit too soon, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. There we go. Nice and safe. Okay, I think he's played it safely out to the right hand side. Yeah, he's smart. He's very smart. He can lob it in from there. Question is, am I smart? Do I do something stupid here? I think the answer is yes. I've got to try and do something stupid because of what I've done so far. I'm going to... If I can get it up to this top tier, I can get it up and down from there, I think. So I'm going to hit this 4 iron full power now actually get the timing right and hopefully it gets up there. Hopefully it gets up there. That was so close to being good. Let me just speed that up for you. We got a putt for an eagle but it's not going to be an easy one. It's gone for it. And he's going to be on the bottom of the hill. Alright, we're both putting from here now. And uh, so it's me first. Slow green. Okay, cool. And even though it's very unlikely I'm going to hold this putt, I should be able to two putt from here. And save. Save a birdie. Yeah. I'm saying save because that's the least I should be doing from here. <sighs> question is. What's the same question is? If I hit 60, it's going to be too much, so I've got to leave it just short of 60, haven't I, really? Yeah, I can hold that. It lied to me, but I can hold that. If I don't hold that part, I'm not taking advantage on this hole. Because it's unlikely he's going to hold his, especially since he's aimed all the way out there. Right, so he's made his par. I've got to hold this, otherwise I am once again not making up ground. Slight break to the right. Oh, I do not like this. I really lost my confidence of putting in this game. And that's exactly why, because why did it jump off to the right? Absolutely no reason for that. All these holes are making eagles and birdies and just... No, I'm not. I'm really not. This is an easy shot for you. Just aim at the bunker on the right and it should be in the middle of the fairway. Oh, don't do that. Choice is yours. Yeah, that's alright. You must get a lot off, don't you, when you're at that level. 
I'll go 120 yards further back, shall I? Luckily I should have a ball I can actually get to carry the water fairly easily now. But if I didn't, I'd be screwed, wouldn't I, right now? Probably still am. Uh, where are you going to go? How far are you going to go? And why are you going to go? So, that's a full sand wedge, right? From here. Based on recent experiences. Might even be a pitching wedge. Why chance, eh? Yeah, why chance, sir? It's going to move quite a way to the left. Probably not that much, though. Full backspin. Make sure it goes about a hundred, shall I? Just make sure it gets up there. That's the important thing, isn't it? Get it up there. And that spin did not kick in. This goes to um, I'm really in trouble because it shouldn't do that unless it's going to be on the edge of the hole from here. And it isn't, thank God. Alright, at least we've both got to try and hold a putt now. But really hold mine then. That's actually not a bad read. Alright, what have I got to deal with here? Oh, what the hell is this? So this one should be jumping left at the start and then it's going to keep on coming. By the looks of things. Uh, yeah, actually, it's inside a couple of feet, shouldn't it? If I do this. Well, I hold it. It was lucky, but I hold it. This is going to be our final hole. Another scoring opportunity. We've had three of these, and I've only taken one, and I barely took that. Going downwind, I could probably, yeah, I could probably get us quite close to the uh, green here. Like the idiot I am. Let's do this. Go over here. It's going to blow to the right slightly. I, when I click, especially if I had to click late. That's probably got to get down really quickly now. Ooh, we got lucky with that bounce. We got a shot at the green in two. That's oh, going to be in the fairway, surely. Has to be. Yeah. I'm sure you'll be fine. He's gone for it. I'm assuming. He doesn't really want to be on the green, otherwise he's got a long putt. So, that's a good place to be. Meanwhile... My three iron's going to... Get me onto that middle tier, isn't it? But... I don't know what to do here. If I'm too aggressive, I could end up putting myself in real trouble. If I aim out here, put the backspin on. 216. Probably will go a bit more than that, haven't I? 228 is 95%. Let's go a bit less than that, shall we, just to be safe. Now, surely the wind's going to bring that back round, it'll be fine. Surely the wind's got to bring that back round. Uh, that's just over the back, right? Yeah, okay. Be on the right tier. Just about, but he's got a chance at that birdie. Which he needs. And I need to get up and down, like I said. So... Let's do that, shall we? I think I'll flop this. Hit it full. Time a bit of backspin. Hopefully I can get to stop on the right tier. I'm gonna take it to the left. Shot's gonna go to the right. Let's go full power. And then just pray, I guess. 
All right, we got to look at the birdie. You got to put this one in. If he does, it puts the pressure on me. Okay, I've won. But I need this birdie still. So six. I think it's going to jump again. It's going to jump to the left. I'm making a huge mistake here. The hugest mistake. Yeah, it jumped to the right. That's my left. It jumped to the right. See you later for part two.